Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. So, uh, time to take the pilot out, I guess. This is as much as we got done last game. Still need to get the... Whatever that's called. Planar lead, maybe? Something like that. Uh, I did manage to pick up 57 hegemony credits, which is amazing. Uh, basically, I can just buy all of these, I guess. Now, will they restock? No. That's kind of disappointing. Um, and then can I... Neat. Uh, can I get the quest for his arm yet? I'm not sure. I haven't gotten anyone in there, and I haven't gotten the elevator guy yet. Okay. Whew, it's gonna take a while to get all of those NPCs back. But that's okay. That's what this game's all about. Progression over multiple, multiple, multiple hundreds of runs. <laughs> and that's why we love it. That plus just, I don't know, I really enjoy just the the nature of these games. These kinds of games. And Gungeon is... It just executes very well in terms of difficulty, uh, balanced with mechanics, balanced with uh, familiarity with enemies. I just like it. I like it a lot. Hence the 300 plus videos so far. <laughs> okay, I see the water barrel. I would really like to keep that safe. Good. Now I just need to remember where it is. Alright, I'm gonna lock dick, because I can. Ring of chest or no, ring of mimic friendship? Ooh. I don't really like that. Unless I can also get ring or uh not ring, uh mimic tooth necklace. But I don't even have that unlocked. Now that I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> so maybe I'd be better off tossing that to a cell creep at some point. Because as far as I'm concerned, Mimics are just free items. And even the harder Mimics are not that bad to deal with. Like the higher level chest, it's not that bad. Although, to be fair, the rat chest Mimics are kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> they are not that fun to deal with. Although, I have a really bad habit of like of uh, shooting all the chests in there anyways. It took me a minute to break that habit on rainbow runs. Because, like, why? Why even bother fighting them on a rainbow run? Anyways, uh, that's the SA-8. Wow, I haven't seen that gun in a long time. Okay. Um... Alright, I know my other chest is going to have a gun, so I really don't care. I, I guess I don't care if it ends up getting broken with the lockpick. I'll end up getting a gun from the boss. Uh, assuming that this chest does break. Like, it would have to be... I don't even know. I was gonna say it would have to be a high-level chest, but... Chances of that are pretty low, and I don't have that many items unlocked yet, so I don't know what would even come out that would be really worth it. Okay, it's a green chest. I really don't feel bad. Okay. That's fine. Uh, there's still a path down here. That's got to be the fireplace. I'll just go fight the boss real quick. And then take care of that. Alright, Bullet King. Uh, this fight is a little bit awkward with the pilot just because his gun has some accuracy issues. Um, that's okay. You just have to stay a little bit closer than I normally like. But at least the Bullet King is, you know, not nearly as awkward to deal with as, say, the, oh, the old king in the Abbey of the True Gun. He just th has little twists on all of his attacks that are meant to throw you off, I guess. Just lets out a lot more bullets and 
his attacks do, a, you know, things that are a little bit different, like those bullets spread apart. There's a couple more waves on that bullet, or on that attack. This one, like, some of those bullets start moving at the end. Just a little bit awkward. It's a shame that I missed out on the master round from this fight, but... Oh well. I'll get over that. Uh, it will really only become a problem if I miss out on the master rounds from all the other boss fights, too. <laughs> That's when I know I've got myself in some trouble. Here we go. Uh, that is... Oh, that's the Rubidine. That's pretty good. I like that. It's also nice for checking secret rooms. I don't think it's in here. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. Uh, where's my other... Here we go. Might be in this one. Yep, here we go. There it is. Ooh, that's tempting. Hold on, let me see. Can I roll onto the ledge and then just tine it? Nope, not that well. Uh, apparently not at all. Okay, that was terrible. I should really stop falling for that trap. <laughs> and I'm sure there's a better way to deal with it than what I've been trying. Um, oh man, there's not a barrel in this room. That's kind of disappointing. That means I have to go find the other water barrel that I had earlier. And smack it all the way over here. Uh, where was that? Oh boy. Uh, not in here. It was in like the bottom right corner of whatever room. Is it this one? Nope. Was it maybe this big one down here? Maybe. Nope. The hell am I going? I know it didn't break. Here we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. This isn't too far, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize the door was not centered with those tables. <laughs> yeah, this is just a couple rooms. Uh, how does this line up? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. This is just going to be a little awkward. I just have to push it all the way over here and then down and then through. Because this column right here is blocking me. Man, I feel like... Maybe it's just when you have more stuff unlocked? I don't know how they... I don't know how it figures it out, but... It just feels like... For the last several, several runs... If I didn't go down to the oubliette, it's either because the water barrel in the fireplace room broke, or and, and like the other one just wasn't around, or uh, well I guess that's about it, right? I, I, the water barrel broke in that room but the water barrel is almost always in that room for me, at least recently and then these, and maybe this is a small sample size, this is the first two runs on a fresh save file Maybe that's what it is. I'm getting all worked up for nothing. Okay, that's... That, that was just a little bit awkward. I don't know. Uh, is this a room worth clearing out with the Rubidine? Probably. But it's actually going okay with just the... Rogue Pistol. What is this thing called? Rogue Special. Oh. Dogs are popping off. I think Princess started it and then Jax jumped in. They are mad about something. Oh, come on. He's like, a couple shots? There we go. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That guy's not dead yet. Okay, that's unfortunate. Whew, it took a lot of hits. Flip the table. Nice. Alright. 
Just gotta take this one a little easy. Okay, and the mushroom didn't spawn. That's helpful. Sometimes a big mushroom enemy will spawn in the middle of that room. Sometimes it'll spawn when there's still one of the snipers left. That's the... just the worst. Yo, he's dead. Ooh, I should be a little more careful, maybe. Pop a table. Oh, okay. That bullet came out of nowhere. It was probably from the bat that I just killed. Like, right before I killed it. Okay. Um, let's see. I might still need a key for the, uh, for the old crest. Oh, I can't wait for this dude. Okay. The old crest is free. That's nice. That's helpful. It looks like there's another path up on the top side of the floor that I need to go down as well. I don't remember when you unlock the quest for Ox to find his arm and deliver that back to the back to the breach. But that's one that's kind of fun to do. It took me a minute to figure it out the first time. Like, what is even happening? Why is there a balloon? What is that thing? Oh, there's poison. Okay, look out. And just a couple of little blobbies. The poison's probably gone by now? I would hope. Oh my goodness. Just overwhelming. Alright, that's... Yeah, nothing's gonna be a mimic for me right now, so I don't even need to shoot to check. I don't know, secret room? I don't think so. Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, all these guys are immune to poison, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to... clear them out a little bit quicker. At least... Uh, soften them up a little bit with the Rubidine. There were just a lot of them. I don't know. These guys too. Just let go with a couple of shots. I don't want to use all of them. I do want to save some of that ammo for... Basically, if I don't get a better gun by the next floor, I want to have something to help me protect the old crest. Okay, that was a bad... Bad call, diving towards the exploding TNT. I got lucky. That does not mean it was a good play. Oh. Aw, uh, of course it's just a blob. A tiny blob. I was like, ooh, something is spawning directly on that TNT barrel. <laughs> and then I was still too slow to hit it in time. Alright. Fair enough. Well played. Ah, <sighs> boss fight? Nope. Something. Yeah, this is another room that... It's just a little more than I want to deal with with just the rogue special. They're still just not dying as fast as I would like. Ooh, especially with that guy showing up. I would like him dead very quickly. There we go. Yeah, just having a secondary gun that deals more damage than your starter gun. It helps thin out those ranks a little bit quicker. What do we do here? Ah, that was a bad play. Okay. At least we got some junk. We got three so far. If I can get junk in, that would be nice. Okay. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. They really had me on the ropes. Uh, what else am I even looking for on this floor? Oh, the shop. That's pretty big. And then also... That. I was just about to say, the cell key to unlock Flint is somewhere down here. I should probably go back and unlock that door for him, just so in the event that something really, really bad happens, uh, I don't lose that progress. 
but to do that, I at least have to clear this room out. Oh, and here's the shop. This is fine. I'll go visit Bello. He's got a key. Oh, table tech money. Ugh. Table tech money. I always want to say is going to be worth it. But then I feel like it's never worth it. I got a key somewhere. I think it dro Oh, it dropped in the same room as the cell key. Yeah. I'm wondering if maybe I should have... ...not blown up that green chest. I may have made a mistake. I don't know, I still... I, I should still get a gun from the boss, so that's nice. I wish I'd gotten that ammo after the boss, though. I could have... If I had known, I would have just used the Rubidine for the boss fight. Damn, the poison blob really just killed the whole room for me. That was nice. Alright, these guys should be dead pretty quickly. The little mushroom head guy is uh, pretty tanky, but almost never going to hit you. Oh, check this. Boom. Rolled it right, in the, right into the dude. Shot himself in the face. And shot him dead. Cool. So, uh, I did take damage. Whoops. Let's go ahead and heal. And he's got ammo. I think I'm going to use the Rubidine just to speed this fight up a little bit. It should speed it up a little bit. Oh, that's terrible. Bad damage. Boo. Boo. It's only my fault, but, you know. Okay, that was really, really my bad. I thought that was the last, like, sweep of his attack, but nope, I was wrong. I really thought I could outrun it. All you have to do is jump back and forth across it. I don't know why I felt like I needed to outrun it. What was I thinking? Oh boy. Um, so I'm really using all of my ammo here, huh? Like, it, it's looking like it's going to use up just about all of it, and then maybe some. I was looking at him like, eh, I'm about a third of the w or had to, I had about a third of my... Damn it, I blanked and still got hit. That's terrible. Um, I had about a third of my ammo left. And it looked like he had about a third of his health left. Okay, uh, Machine Fist is pretty decent. That should help me out on the next floor at least. So maybe I don't need to buy this ammo, but I feel like I should buy the key. And then maybe I'll just wait and see what what the next floor kind of looks like. Hopefully I can find something better in the shop. I don't know what that looks like yet, but hopefully I can find something better in the shop. I'm definitely going to use the Machine Fist and the Rubidine until I can deliver the old crest. That's... That's kind of my mission here. Okay, that's not what I want, though. Hold up. There we go. Okay, that guy has to die first. I... Well, I guess not. There we go. <laughs> I was like, he needs to die, though. I need that guy out of here. Uh... Okay, right. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was like, wait, what floor am I on? Why didn't I go to the Oobly yet? No? Definitely, definitely did. Okay, of course there's a Lead Maiden. Alright, died quickly. That's good. Good use of the Machine Fist, I think. These guys... I don't know, I, I think I can finish out the ammo of my Rubidine on, the, on enemies like this. The Lead Maiden, though, I needed it dead fast before I was forced to blank again. Here we go. No drops. 
Boo. Oh my god, a spider? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, why does the game hate me? It's gonna drop the fusilier in my face here in a second. I already know. That's gonna be right on this side of the crest room. Taking bets. Okay. That was beautiful. <laughs> I am... I'm pretty proud of that. That worked exactly as I envisioned it. Okay. These guys are no big deal. Please die. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna take ammo for that, and I have the Rubidine back as my alternate. Okay, let me reload that, though. Um, okay, well, I figured if I could lockpick the first one, it would be worth it. But I failed. So, actually, this is a pretty good Rubidine situation. Why not? I'm looking at the walls thinking, you know, even if I miss, uh, it might reflect the bullets back the way I need them to anyways. There we go. Oh, you're toast. Oh, that is a veteran shotgun. You need to be careful. Okay, we got an extra blank. That's very helpful. I'm gonna open it. What do we get? That is sunlight javelin? Okay, I like it. Secret room? Nope. Crest room? Yes. Oh, I got hit somewhere. Or I never went back and grabbed the crest. Wow. Wow. Whoops. Well. That's a... Uh... Yeah, that's a whoops. <laughs> oh, did I just do that? Oh, boy. Why am I surprised? Okay. Whoops. <laughs> That's... Okay, wow, and now I'm just taking damage for no good reason. Oh, boy. That's a... such a goofball mistake. I know better. There we go. Sunlight Javelin is feeling really good. Feeling grossly incandescent. Whew. Okay, thinking about it. Sorry, I, like, I was thinking about Dark Souls for a second there when I went silent. Um, and I was like, one of the best pieces of advice for Dark Souls 1 does not apply at all to Gungeon, and that is kill the dogs first. That sucks. I don't really like this. Although, ah, yeah, that's dangerous. Um, okay, let me blank and just open this up. Wow, I still messed that up. Oh boy. What do we got? Table Tech Stun is actually pretty decent. I like that a lot. Although, hold on. This is fun. Now, that doesn't even matter. I can just teleport through. And lockpick that to get Gungeon Pepper for free. Okay. So, where am I going now? I guess the boss fight. Am I happy about having Bloody Scarf? No. Uh, actually, I might just drop it at the beginning of the fight. Yeah, especially against the Amoconda. I'm just going to drop it and pick it back up at the end. That's probably going to go towards the Cell Creep on the fourth floor, uh, assuming I get some Master Rounds. So, I don't know. I like fighting Aghanim. Get that Synergy Chest. I don't know if it's always a synergy chest. Okay. Two sunlight javelins for one of the nubs is not too bad. I do have a blank still. I need to keep that in mind. Good things get hairy. I'm not getting close enough to use my gungeon pepper, but... Ooh, that was... Yeah, I had to blank there. Um, 
but that's okay. I don't really want to get that close to the snake. He kind of scares me. Alright, we're almost done here. There we go. Shoot him in the tail. That's a flawless. Flame hand, huh? Alright. That's synergized with maybe Sunlight Javelin? I'm not really sure. Oh, Gungeon Pepper. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna buy these keys. Yep. And I guess I could buy health, but that sounds kind of lame. So, I'm just gonna go down the elevator and probably get my scarf stuck. Alright. Black Powder Mine, here we go. Uh, Flame Hand is pretty good, as far as I'm concerned. I like it a lot. Uh, but then, getting the maximized spell synergy is just even better. Okay, this is nice. Oh, double vision! Hello. Uh, what do I want for the ammo? I guess Sunlight Javelin, even though I'm not really missing any. Okay. I'm happy with this. Double vision is so good. Uh, did I get hit there? I'm not really sure. I might have teleported in place. Here we go. Just let loose with some extra fireballs. Lovely. And the nice thing about the maximize spell synergy is it drops that fire on the ground that does not kill you. The green flames are so good. Okay. So far, this floor is going marvelously. Alright, what's still alive? Just this guy? That's not too bad. Hopefully I can cheese something with the bloody scarf before I get rid of it. I guess I did that secret room and then that chest on the last floor. Oh, that's not good. Um, but yeah, I want to get more, I guess just more value out of it. <laughs> I say that even though it's going to get me into the RNG department. And why does this feel like it might be a secret room situation to me? Just because of the... it's dead end. That's always suspicious. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can cheese some more secret rooms. Maybe some locked doors, you know, something along those lines. If I'm going to have it, I want it to at least be useful to me. Um, yeah, if I could just break that barrel, that'd be fantastic. Nice, I like this. Uh, secret room? Yes. Okay, uh, I'll open it. That's not great, but I... You know, I opened it, whatever. Uh, I'll open it, sure. What do we got? Uh, Void Marshal is also not that great, but it's fine. I've got keys. And it lets me know that my other chest might be worth opening. It's not going to be a gun, um, so that's good, because I'm kind of set on guns. I've got some pretty decent ones. Like, Void Marshal's fine for clearing out rooms, but I, I already have that situation kind of taken care of. I've got... Flame Hand, I've got, uh, I don't know, Rubidine, Machine Fist. Like a big, solid boss clear would be really nice. Give me the Stinger out of a green chest, that'd be great. There we go. Dodge down here. What do we got? Remote Bullets? Not interested. If I played with a keyboard and mouse, maybe Remote Bullets. Actually, probably, definitely remote bullets. Um, but with a controller, I don't know. It's kind of a hassle. Alright. That dude's just gonna have to live while I kill the dynamite, I guess. It's not what I wanted to happen, but... It's just how it worked out. Okay, uh... Maybe those... I'm not sure what just happened with the taser dudes. They were freaking out. I think it was either the fact that I was teleporting that was throwing them off, because they 
weren't able to target me in that, you know, period of time. I don't know. I'm not really sure what happened there. Okay, so it's definitely that one. There's no way the clones have that much health. Oh, yeah, just get smacked around by the log. Thanks. Is he going to do it again? Nah. Too far away. See, this is another... Oh, no, I already found the secret room. I was like, this is another spot that looks kind of suspicious. And I realize I only say that because it's dead end. Like, it's a dead end. I say it at every dead end. Oh, blood brooch? Hmm. I'll definitely take it. But is it good? It's alright. I shouldn't complain. The curse is going to be kind of interesting. Check this. Boom, hop over the wall. Get him from the other side. Alright, here's the boss fight. Might as well take this. Um, I'm thinking, yeah. Sunlight Javelin with double vision. Sounds pretty good. I'm gonna blink because I'm scared. Alright, I can't hit him for a second here. Whew. I really don't like the whole teleporting while it's dark thing, because I can't really tell where I am. Yeesh. So far, so good, though. But he still has a lot of health left. <laughs> I'm only halfway through this fight. Oh, God. Ah. That's not fair. He spawned right underneath me. Alright, double vision, go. Help me out. Oh, God. He's so close to death. There we go. Flawless? I think that was flawless. Whew. Yeah. Oh, that's Ring of Triggers, isn't it? Hello. That is fantastic with double vision. Ooh, that should be very nice. Oh, I didn't... <sighs> I'm such a fool. I really could have gotten rid of the bloody scarf. I could have dropped it here, um, but I could have just dropped it when I walked into the boss fight. I don't know why I held on to it. That... Oh, boy. Okay. It's fine. Alright, what else do I... Oh, the Ring of Mimic Friendship was the other thing that I wanted to get rid of on this floor. Uh, I guess there's enemies somewhere. Here we go. Here they are. I'm just gonna hang out over here. While they're alive. Yeah, I knew there would be enemies spawning in the middle, because that just makes sense. Okay, sure. I'll take that. I teleported in place, but also a step forward. I don't know, that was weird. Or I just stepped forward as soon as I came out of the, the dash. Oh, that's all out of ammo. Okay. Whew. Oh, God, that makes me nervous. Okay. It's not fun. I really don't like this item. Uh, the, the scarf. Blue scarf. Ancient hero's bandana? Way better. Quadrupling all of your ammo capacities? Mmm, lovely. But bloody scarf? I don't like it. I don't like it a lot. Like, ugh. But I, I, I don't know. I might as well pick it up, right? So early on this save file, there are things to do. Oh, you know what else I need to do on this run still is, uh, I need something that leaves a trail. Hmm. Or flight. Flight would be good. Flight would be very good. Oh, there's, like, a whole lot of enemies still, huh? Oh, you know what? I wonder if the shotguns would work in that room. Huh. 
I don't know how I don't know exactly how that would work. Uh, do I lockpick this? I have three keys. I'll just open it. Zombie bullets is fine. Or ghost bullets, whatever. Same thing. It's not, but same thing. Excuse me, you're just not gonna let me teleport through this wall now? Why not? No, you don't understand. I, n I know how this works. I should be able to go through that door. Come on. I really should be able to teleport through this door. That's pretty lame. Okay, fine. I'll go the long way. I'm getting through there anyways, though. That's what they don't know. Uh, I have not yet found the shop. <laughs> See, this is like the one case where I would kind of like the uh, Mega Dowser. I had to think about what it's called, because when was the last time I said I want Mega Dowser? Um, but that's mostly just because of the the invisible platform situation. Or even like, um, maybe Freeze Ray? But I'm thinking the other one, the Plunger. Oh, but I don't even have Plunger unlocked. I don't know if I have Mega Dowser unlocked, now that I think about it. Hmm. There's definitely ways to reveal the, uh, the platform. I don't think, I don't think the flame hand is going to do it. I don't know, I'll try. See, and this just tells me that I want to save my ammo for all these other guns that I keep trying to use just to kind of get through. That was bad. I shouldn't have used it there. Um, that's interesting. Here we go. This is what I'm thinking. Let's try Flame Hand. Does this help me at all? I don't think so. It only makes fire where it hits. Alright, what about Shell? Does this help me at all? No, because it only drops the rifles where they hit something. Damn it! <laughs> and this doesn't drop shell casings at all. Hmm. I don't know what to do about this. Well, I don't know what to do about that right now. Okay. Uh, boss fight. I would like to find the other chest room, I guess, first. There should still be one, right? And the shop. Shop's right here, though. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna... Whoops. Miss the summoner, I guess. Yeah, I, I never made it through to the other side of that doorway. Uh, laser sight's kind of fun, and so is Mr. Accretion Jr. Huh. I'll take those for boss killing. Seems like a good plan. Maybe I should go fight the boss then. Oh, boy. Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I only got hit once in there, and no big deal. Uh, oh, I have curse because of the, what's it called? The blood brooch. That's right. I was like, why is there a jammed enemy in here? That's weird. Okay, the reaper is really getting on my nerves. Whew. Okay, so I still have this other chest room and the cell creep to find. So we can go down to the RNG department. Maybe get some items out of that. Uh, I'm sorry, where is the cell creep? He might be on the other side of the boss fight too, I guess. Void shotgun. I don't know where the secret room is. Uh, it might be on the shop, actually. Could be on the top or on the side. Yeah, here we go. Um, not really worth it, but okay, sure. I got that blank back, so I at least broke even there. Alright, who are we fighting? Is this Wallmonger? No, Kill Pillars, okay. Uh, hold on. I had something for this. 
Yeah. Oh, shit. I really wanted to drop the, uh, what's it called? Bloody Scarf. I should have done that. Like, as soon as the fight started. Oh, this is gonna mess me up. Here we go, that gives me some time. Okay. So you can just drop items and then pick it up at the end of the fight. Oh, boy. Okay. Now I'm in a good cycle. Whew. Okay, uh, this is still taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I think some of that is I'm just missing a lot of shots, and then... Uh, the other thing is the damage is kind of getting spread out a little bit. Ooh. Rough. Rough hit. Bad damage. Uh, two of them are dead, that's good. Also with ghost bullets, I didn't even think about that. With ghost bullets, I'm getting piercing damage. Or, uh, piercing shots. So if I line it up correctly, I'm hitting both of them. And that's fantastic. That's what you want. That's ammo efficiency right there. Alright. I am almost out of ammo for this gun. Clearly I missed a few too many shots. Boom! Hit him with the orbit, though. Sent Saturn flying into his face from the side. Uh, that is awful. <laughs> the nail gun is not good. Uh, hold on, there's still... Oh, the bloody scarf. Right. It's like, it's saying there's still something in here. What do I want? I want to get rid of this. That's what I want. So, I've got a couple master rounds. That's good. It's a good start. And I want to get rid of Mimic Friendship and that damned scarf. Is he not going to take the scarf? That's... I forgot about that. Oh no, there it is. I feel like there are some items he won't take. I thought the scarf was one of them when he rejected it at first. Okay, uh, should I take this key? Probably. Just probably. Uh, also, the junk shrine down here, I'm going to, to go ahead and scrap all of this. Okay. And let's go on down to RNG department. I still don't have a way to grab the planar lead yet. I just haven't quite gotten lucky on these first couple of runs, but that's okay. I'd like to go through everyone at least once first anyways, just to... I don't know, I'll admit, I wanted to get all of the bullet that can kill the past components on the first run. I thought that would have been kind of cool. Um, but it's okay. It's not something that needs to be rushed just something that I'm excited to do again. Alright. This room is... Yep, just about done. Okay. Uh, what would I really like out of this run at this point? Just some good passives, some good bullet modifiers. Now, I don't know what all is unlocked. That's the... That's kind of the big problem. Is there are a lot of things that I haven't bought yet, and the things that I have bought so far are not that great. You know, basically just that first round of things from from Ox and Cadence, um, and they do have some really good stuff in the future, but that is way in the future. I keep trying to save the health for later, but I forget that it doesn't work like that on this floor. I like that shotgun kitten's hat. It makes me laugh. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, uh, still a couple more rooms to go on this floor. Man. Whew. Things are getting a little bit sketchy. I am trying to stay in kind of close range for this shotgun, but maybe I should be giving myself a little bit more space to work with. Okay, that was bad. Oh, you know what else? I've totally forgotten that I had double vision. 
totally forgot about it. I switched away from it for something, or for the lockpick, I guess. I don't remember what I tried to pick open, but whatever that was, I switched away from double vision. And absolutely forgot that I also had ring of triggers. That would have made... Oh, that would have made the kill pillars fight so much easier. <laughs> oh, I goofed. Oh, boy, did I goof. Alright, killing the shit out of that book. That's a good feeling. Alright, uh, I would love for, yeah, double vision. I was gonna say, I would love for double vision to be active before this boss fight. I don't know why I'm using the nail gun. This is not a good call. Okay, the nail gun does have a really good synergy, and I never remember what makes it, but it's really good. Here we go, double vision, ring of triggers, sunlight javelin, should be good. Okay, well, double vision didn't last too long. Um, those attacks didn't do too much damage. I, I mean, I guess the fight just started, and I've taken off a third of his health. That's pretty good. Wow, that was that was pretty bad, though, what just happened there. All this damage that I'm taking is just awful. <laughs> just awful. I could blank, I guess. I probably should be, especially before I get hit. Whew, I'm going to blank again because I don't trust it. All right, we're almost done here. Kind of. Oh my god, that is just overwhelming. I still have a blank, don't I? Whew, almost there. Don't die. Okay. Yeah, he dies. I don't want to die. Somehow that still only took 30 ammo. It just seems like not very much. Uh, that is the glass cannon and that's pretty awesome. I'll take that for the shotgun, I guess. There's a chest somewhere. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, katana bullets? I actually like katana bullets. I think that's pretty nice. Um, I've heard it's a bad idea to teleport out of this room, out of the boss fight after you go in there. You can soft lock the game. And I don't really want to do that. I've just heard that you can't get back up to the rooftop to get out. Unfortunately, that's when you need it the most. That's like the only time teleporting is even worth it on that floor. Oh, yes, katana bullets. So good. Especially with something like a shotgun. Oh, which means, you know what? The, uh, the shell should just be stupid with katana bullets. Well, maybe. <laughs> it should be. I don't know why it's not working the way I want it to. Oh, crap. That's scary. Uh, don't get me. Don't get me, bro. Alright, alright. I just need to be a little careful with that guy. That one scares me. Uh, so does this jammed fool up here. Okay, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Uh, excuse you. Get out of here. Nope, nope. Oh my god. What is this? This guy needs to die. Like, bad. There we go. Whew. Alright. Finally. That room is over. Uh, Mr. Accretion Jr. would have been a really good uh, candidate for all this ammo I've been picking up. Uh, do I want to go through that way? Yeah, I guess. I don't need to. Also, the hammer decided to leave me alone, I guess. Cool. I thought that got patched out. <laughs> okay, whatever. That used to be a thing. I thought it got patched out. Where you could go into that room and uh, just, like, kind of bait the hammer out and then leave the room. And the hammer would just go away. But, yeah, I thought they fixed that in one of the updates. Alright, that guy's dead. Let me find this skelly skull. There we go. 
this room is getting a little intense. <laughs> Ring of triggers. Whew. I thought it would be fun with the shell. Just to blast out all those shotguns that would then blast out all their own bullets. It seemed like a good plan. Uh, wow. Those katana bullets are no joke. They go hard. Okay. Oh, I just barely missed that one. Oh, come on. Okay, good. I think Katana Bullets killed both of the Red Mages. Okay, that little section of the floor is all cleared out. Just need to take on these paths. Uh, we got item rooms and a shop and a boss fight still left to find. And who knows, maybe something else along the way. Alright, you need to die. No more prancing about that. You need to die. Oh, I have table tech stun! Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> Is there anything else amazing that I forgot that I had? I mean, blood brooch, kind of. I don't think that's what's keeping me alive, though. Although, it might be. It might be contributing more than I'm realizing. Because I have taken a lot of really bad damage. And my health only somewhat in, uh, imparts that knowledge. There we go. Like, it could be a lot worse. And it probably should be. There we go. I wonder if Katana Bullets contributes to the damage needed for, uh, for Blood Broach to activate. Because it's, like, at a certain amount of health that Blood Broach heals you. Or a certain amount of damage that you put out. Oh. We got a Lead Maiden in here, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna take some hits, I think. I think I just need to be okay with that. There we go. Alright, we're not done yet. <laughs> That's not even close to what's going on here. Whew. That was rough. That was not a good room. Alright. I have way more keys than I need, so might as well pop some doors open. Uh, still looking for my, for my other chest. What do I want for damage? The Void Shotgun is okay, but I think it's Flame Hand is probably a better call here. It's probably what I should have been using this whole time. Although it doesn't activate katana bullets as much as the shotgun, as fewer projectiles. Uh, I guess this is, I mean, this is a path. I don't know if it's the right path. Okay, he's gonna die, maybe, eventually. If I just let him, let him burn. All right, these guys aren't catching on fire, and that's upsetting to me. I think it's because of the flame hand, or not flame hand. I think it's because of the ghost bullets. Uh, because it's not stopping on the enemy. What do we got? Ring of chest friendship would have been so nice when I got ring of mimic friendship. Like, where was that? Come on. Alright, this dude is going to be a jerk. I already know this. Oh yeah, I have table tech stun. I can just cheese. Actually, the dude I want to cheese is this one. That guy needs to not exist for a minute. There we go. Pop off with the ring of triggers. And then double vision for the second wave. Pretty nice. Uh, that was... Maybe the worst place I could have stood there. Somehow I managed to not get hit. Alright, yeah, I need to kill the summoner. He's no joke. Well, he's kind of a joke, but his skeleton can cause some damage. Heck Blaster. Ooh. Actually, that might be nice if I come across some more jammed enemies. Uh, Gun Muncher, hello. 
What do I want to get rid of? Oh, I forgot all about the glass cannon. Nail gun and derringer, because what am I going to do with that? Sure. Let me drop those off. And Mega Dowser. I get it now? Come on. I was asking for that a floor ago. That's how long ago. A floor. Like, not even that long. Couldn't find a way to get it to me by the uh, the fourth floor. I'm a little disappointed. What was I using here? Flame Hand, and I had Heck Blaster on backup. That's right. Um. Okay. This is fine. Uh, Shadow Magician isn't too bad. Oh, well, and except for when you get hit. Talk shit, get hit. That's fair. Hopefully, double maximum Flame Hand should be enough to put him out pretty quickly. Although, I'm almost out of ammo, I'm realizing. I guess I'll just have to switch when it runs out. Find something else. Okay. Oh, wow, with my last shot. And it dropped full ammo. Fantastic. Um, a little disappointed that there's no chest, but okay, whatever. Uh, still keeping an eye out for the... I think there's another chest room and the shop. Alright, here's the shop. Dark marker? Meh. Rocket power bullets, yes. I guess I'll take dark marker. Why not? Uh, looking for a secret room. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Three keys for sale. Oh, I guess there is not another chest room. That one and that one. What did I get? Oh, ring of chest friendship. Right. Super useful on the forge. Thanks. A uh, glass cannon. Actually, with double vision. And, yeah, and, uh, what's it called? The Ring of Triggers. Wow. Why was that so hard for me to pull? Uh, seems like a really good combination. Super, super heavy boss killer. <laughs> yeah, that worked out quite nicely. Okay, I'm going to switch to just something else while I roll through all this, just in case I take some stupid damage. Is this the gun, or well, what is the gun I want to use to take out the heart? I don't think I'm going to get that many shots off with the glass cannon, that's the only thing. It takes so long to recharge. See, I think for something like this I'd be better off with... I don't even know if Sunlight Javelin is what I need. Maybe, maybe the planet gun. This should be alright. Especially because double vision might kick in. And then if it does, I'll be ready. There we go. I was just kind of mashing the item button, the active item button. And so as soon as it was ready, I popped it. Nice. Level 5 master round. Woo! Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take the obsidian shell casing. Don't need it. Already did that. Okay. Yeah, that's actually... That's gonna be it for this one, huh? Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Come on back. Tell your friends. Tell your you know, co-workers, or tell your enemies, be like, hey, this guy, big bad bard, that, that guy, he's done some stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, I just wanna show off the item screen, I guess. Give credit to what got me here. The gungeon still holds mysteries. Probably. Not just on this save file. Alright, we got... Oh yeah, this is all the guns that I unlocked. Or all the items I got from Ox and Cadence. Right. But yeah, here you go. 
That's all. That's all the stuff right there. Um, big shout out to Ring of Triggers, Double Vision, and then of course Katana Bullets there at the end. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, all those things I said before, but most importantly, be sure to have yourself a great day. And I'll see you around next time. Bye.